I don't know if I like my hair like this. I look like I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting! Sephora haul. Sephora just opened their spring sale to... Open. So they opened it to the Rouge members first on the 1st. So I guess that was Friday. And then later on, I think today or tomorrow, they're... Sorry, today is the 5th. So either the 5th or the 6th, they've opened it to everyone, like everyone that has an account. So I guess by the time that you're watching this, you should already be able to access the sale. So I just wanted to do a quick little haul. I didn't get too many things. And mind you, I haven't ordered from Sephora in like, I don't know how long. Because usually I buy from their December sale. And even then, I don't believe I got anything unless it was a gift I want to start off with this I took off the packaging so you can't exactly see <laughs> it's a little bit messy but it's basically just um, the Sephora favorites perfume edition and then you get a bunch of their popular fragrances and some of them are high-end as well we have Versace. This one is called. Uh, I don't know if this is the name, but it says Bright Crystal on it. It might be the name. And then we have this one. I should know the names of these, but I actually don't. I don't know who made this. I d uh, okay, you'll just see it. But it looks exactly like the big version, so it's not like this would be hard to find. It's literally like a stiletto heel. We got the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin Cologne. Oh, also, I didn't like that all of them aren't sprays. They're actually um, like a little a hole. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but it's like, it's like just a hole. The only one that is a spray is actually the Jo Malone one. It has like the spray part. I don't know how to explain it. The nozzle. Yeah, the nozzle. Okay, we have Tom Ford Black Orchid. This one is very, very popular. Personally, I wouldn't like grab this first, but it does smell good. But out of all the Tom Ford perfumes that I've um, had, I wouldn't say that this one is a favorite. Yeah. We got YSL here, pretty packaging. This one is called This one is called Libre, like book, I guess. I can speak French. Just kidding. That might not even mean book. Uh, I have perfect Marc Jacobs. I think this one's my favorite. It has like a floral scent. It's a little bit, it's a little English. It's a little bit similar to the Versace one. Um, they both have like floral notes, but that's based off of what I smell. I don't actually know. This one, I actually have no idea what brand it is, but I'm pretty sure it's very like um, easy to find the big version of because it's like the details on it is just too specific for you not to be able to find the big version and then last one is nest this one is golden nectar they're so tiny like aren't they cute okay so that's the first item i was excited about it i love my perfumes i have way too many next thing i want to go through okay so this thing i actually saw from one of those tiktok videos where they just show what's in their cart and what they're planning on buying for the sale so this one was actually recommended in one of these videos it is the charlotte tilbury 
airbrush flawless finish compact and i got shade medium because i saw the light is actually way too light for me but this is what it looks like oh you're seeing that i'm recording on my phone don't mind that just trying to yeah i have somewhere to be so that's why i'm recording on my phone and the other stuff isn't charged but here we go pretty i also saw this th that same girl do a hack with the makeup where she basically does her concealer under her eye and then she takes a compact and presses it into her skin and then on top of that she takes a loose powder and she dusts that over and apparently it makes you look blurred and it lasts pretty long so i'm excited to try that and i've also never had a compact before so i'm kind of excited to use it like i've always been skeptical of compacts because i didn't think that they actually did anything but maybe like before people were just using it wrong because i the way i've seen my mom use it is you just dab the sponge on it and then you like kind of wipe it all over your face so maybe we've just been using it wrong next i grabbed this fenty beauty matchstick it is the contour stick basically in shade 01 amber i got a cooler tone one and i think this was also the lightest shade yeah but yeah i got a cool tone one i feel like i have this in the mini form but i wait am i looking at it right now or that might be the highlighter maybe i only have the highlighter someone just came in my room becca can you grab that matchstick right there it's this it looks like this and it's right on the lipstick area do you see it Lighter. oh okay the other one i have is a highlighter i thought i had the contour one too because it came in like a duo okay anyways yeah so i thought i'd grab one of these because i don't really have like a contour stick or anything and i love the color of this i tried it in store on my hand Oh, the lighting is not okay. Okay, yeah, but that's what it looks like. It's a cooler tone shade and it's the lightest one, as I said. Excited to use that, even though I feel like I have it somewhere in my room. I just can't find it. Next are these two. I grabbed this Liquid Touch Foundation by Rare Beauty and then the Liquid Touch Concealer, also by Rare Beauty. And I got them both in shade 180 Warm, 180W. I'm excited to try these as well because I've heard great things about it. My friend actually started using concealer. I mean, not concealer, sorry, foundation. And this is actually the one she grabbed too. So I saw it and I was like, I have to try it. I've never really actually owned a foundation from Sephora before. Usually the ones I got was the are the drugstore one i've tried the maybelline one and it expired because i haven't used it in a while so that one is gone and then i've tried maybe revlon i think and then right now i'm using a covergirl bb cream or cc cream i don't remember but basically i don't have a foundation so i grabbed this one and then i was like might as well try the concealer with it because i've only heard great things so I'm excited about those two. I've heard that the, the foundation is good wear for the whole day. So hopefully it is true to what people say. And um, with like the mask mandate coming out, coming off, sorry. Um, I'm actually excited to like do my makeup more again because I haven't really gotten to like in the past two years like i'll do it once in a while but it's very rare <laughs> rare very rare for me to do it so i thought that now that summer is coming up i can do it again but you know there's like there's just some days you just want to leave and just not worry about anything or like you want to sleep in longer that's usually why i don't do my makeup because i want to sleep in longer last thing is this the last thing I feel like there's one more thing. 
Oh yeah, okay, this is the last thing. Sorry, I blanked out. This is the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint. I have this in Orgasm and um, I got it because it was like a little duo with the Orgasm blush. And I thought it was a good deal, so I ended up getting that. And I love the lip oil. It just glides on and when you like put your, when you smack your lips together, it just feels so buttery. But like not in a nasty way, in like a hydrating way. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. So I thought I would get the other shade. I think from what I saw online, there was two. So this is the other shade that um, they didn't, they actually don't carry this shade in store. Apparently this one's called Primal Instinct. And I'm going to put it on now because... I just love this. Oh, the light right on my lip. Put some in the cupid's book. But yeah, same with um lip glosses. I haven't usually I'm like if I'm gonna wear anything, I'm usually gonna wear my lip gloss out or lip balm or whatever. And even lately, like I've been not wanting to wear it when like we had to wear masks only because i hate when like the mask touches it and then it smooshes it all together and presses it up on your face so i'm glad that now that everything is lifted i will be wearing my lip glosses more because i do have an intense lip gloss collection what is my hair doing finally i got some samples so this was from when i ordered the nars lip oil this is not what i asked for but i guess they didn't have any more left i originally got the this tom ford perfume sample and a mark jacobs perfume sample but they gave me these this is the verb c shampoo and conditioner and then i got this i have no idea what this is i guess it's like to help your blonde hair <laughs> to help your blonde hair stay a cooler blonde rather than a brassy blonde and then in store they gave me a packet of this the briojo don't despair repair hair shampoo conditioner and mask i love these i've used it before so i'm glad i have these i like to take these um in my carry-on bags for when i go vacationing so and I know I'm vacationing this summer, so I'm glad to have more of these, even though I do have a big collection of these samples. Okay, I think I've blabbed on long enough. This is the end of the video. My timer is telling me I've been speaking for almost 15 minutes now. <laughs> almost 15 minutes now, and I have no idea how I did that, but obviously this video is going to be shorter. I think that's the end. Yeah. Don't really have anything else to show you guys you guys comment down below what your must have for this spring sale is because i generally want to know and if i see something that i like i still have time to order it myself or if it's past the date i'll just put it on my list and do my own research i guess but yeah, if you have recommendations, comment them down below and I'll take a look at them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. And thanks for watching. Bye. I am. Thumbnail. Hi, vlog. Thumbnail. Okay. Oh.